Welcome, Planet, to Holistic Sports Coaching, July 7th, 2009. Sports, movies, and a lot of other things today. I want to read something from the dictionary about C, because I like to see on a tennis court, basketball court, golf course, any sports venue with my eyes closed because it's already been programmed. C. Become aware of someone or something with the eyes. Experience or witness. This is the one I like. Work something out after thinking or from information. Ding, ding, ding. It's there. Even when you're a beginner, programming one thing at a time, it's there. So if I think of one, two, three, one being the ball or throwing the ball or catching the ball, two being the body, three more body, and there are three levels of energy in the beginning of practice, middle of practice, and the end of practice into competition. So I'm going to probably mention this similarly for the next at least year. Movies today. I want to mention again, I mentioned uh, last night about a movie that I saw which is really amazing. It's animated, it's from Israel. It does have subtitles, but the animation is so trippy. And it shows me that foreign films are outdoing American films with one hundredth of the budgets. It's called Creativity. Waltz with Bashir. It's about the Lebanon War, the Battle of Beirut in 1982-83. This is a trippy movie. The subtitles really don't mean that much. They do tell the story, but the animation and the foundation of the story is amazing. Tonight on TCM at 8 o'clock, Scarabooch, 1952 Stuart Granger. In beautiful color, it's a swashbuckler. At 10 o'clock, probably one of the greatest of treasure hunt movies, King Solomon's Mines. 1950 MGM, Stuart Granger, Deborah Carr, beautiful color, exciting adventure. Stuart Granger and Deborah Carr both had just come in, come to this country and became big stars, obviously. Now, other things today. In the Orlando Sentinel here in Central Florida, there was an article about three or four days ago about a near epidemic of stealing in middle school and high school of laptops, iPods, uh, cell phones, Blackberries. Let's knock it off, folks. Come on, you're in school eight hours a day, a third of your daily life your schoolmates, your teammates have to live with each other. It's absolutely priority. Attention principles of these schools. Attention faculty. Make sure that every once in a while you have everybody in the gym or the auditorium and let's figure out what's wrong no destroying the campus, no bullying. Everybody, believe me, who's anybody knows who the bullies are. So instead of, because I know nobody wants to be a snitchy snitchy, then you know what? Let's have 20 or 30 of you who know who the bullies are to get around them and say, what's going on? Why are you doing this? How can we help you? Speaking of that, in 1999, when Clebo and Harris, the gunman at Columbine, a year before the incident, they had gone from 
baseball caps turned around, flannel shirts and jeans, to trench coats, black boots, and black outfits, and turned very strange. Dozens of people knew, except the parents, who were upstairs. It's your responsibility, you're their teammates, to find out, hey, Betty or Joe, you look a little depressed, what's going on? And be concerned with your mates. The same thing with teams. I'm a coach. Everybody plays. I know we have to put the best team on the field, but if you don't get to play and you practice, then why would you want to come to practice? Everybody should be able to play. Everybody should be wanted. Don't we all want to be wanted? The planet is going through some strange behavior. But we're going to touch more on other things, because these are more important, non-political, non-religious, because you are your own God. You are in control, even though your parents control you, your employers control you, the government controls you, your coach does control you, but you're in charge. You are in charge of your and responsible for your actions, your emotions. Well, that's it for today. Adopt a kitty and don't feed him canned food. Bye-bye.